I'm out here on a camping trip in Northern California. Came out to catch some Dungeness crab, which is going for $18 a pound. That's very expensive. I came with two baits, squid and salmon. But I'm on a camping trip, and what do you have to bring on every camping trip? Some bacon. I've also got three rods, so I figure why not test the bacon, put them up against the salmon and the squid, and see which one catches more Dungeness crab. I'm gonna stuff each one as full as I can. One big jumbo squid. Two beautiful pieces of bacon. Nice chunk of salmon belly. All right, this is the first one going in, and it's bacon. This is the blue rod. I got one blue rod, so that's how I'll remember. B, blue for bacon. Let's go. Woo, baby. 2.35 now, we'll wait about 10 minutes. Shorter one has squid on it. Let's go. Salmon going in. Lined up, one, two, three. So I have my own prediction of what bait is gonna produce the best today. Why don't you leave your prediction in the comments right now and I'll let you know what mine is in a few minutes. Hopefully we can get enough catches for enough data on what's the best bait. setting up this camera so you guys can see the crab come up but man see how rough it is been 10 minutes actually been 12 minutes 245 right now 247 let's tighten the drag let's see if we can get lucky first pull nothing on this one all right next one I don't think so dang all right last one this is the salmon man yeah. nothing here either maybe my theory was right it's just too rough all the crabs are hunkered down somewhere. Yo. What up? Oh man, just did a, my first pull, nothing on them. Nothing. Yeah, no, nothing. I waited 10 minutes. How you doing, yeah. man? He's, he's got the applewood smoked bacon. That's going to be the secret. All right, been about 15 minutes. I got David on the phone down there. He's watching this pull. Let's see, this one's got the bacon in it in 15 minutes. Nope, nothing. I don't know, I think it's too rough. Who knows what it is. All right, I'll let you know. All right. All right, later. My prediction was bacon, but everything's up in the air because there's no crab caught yet. Who knows if there's gonna be a winner. Might be a draw just like Tyson and Jones. Time's running out for me. Here's bacon, let's see. There we go. So nothing huge, but it is a keeper crab. It's a male and it's six inches long, over six inches long. So that came on the salmon. Now, I don't know if it's the spot or the bait. So I moved the other two rods right next to the salmon rod out a little bit farther. Still letting it soak, about 12 minutes per rod. I think that's a good time. Like I was saying, my friend Daniel, Philosophy D, went to the supermarket the other day and the crab were $18 a pound. He bought two and it was $54. So this right here, that's a $25 crab. That's a $20 crab. That's a good keeper male, hard legs, a lot of meat, probably one and a half pounds. So boom, $20 bill, $25. You guys see the rod tip there? See how it's moving just a little bit? There's no waves passing by, but every once in a while it moves a little, and that leads me to believe that there's a crab trying to pull the snare away. Now, I just casted that one out, but I think it's worth it to give that one a pull. So let's do it. Nope. All right, let's just leave it back down there. Nothing there. The bacon, fresh bacon on here. Nope, nothing on there. Lastly, the salmon. This is the money maker right here. Nope, nothing there. But I'm gonna leave it out there, keep the scent around. Hopefully the crab come to the same area. 
Man, only caught one crab, but dude, I'm getting hungry and I, I don't know, just want to eat it. Let's eat it. And I've heard roasting crab is good. So I'm gonna give it a try. Just cook it over a fire. Brought some wood, so I might as well use it. I think I've got about another half an hour before the sun sets. So I'm gonna break this wood up into small pieces. So I can start a fire. I'm just gonna throw that crab right over it. All right, got some small pieces. Those should light up just fine. Then we'll get a couple bigger ones right on top of that. And we'll have a fire in no time. Good way, I like to set up a fire. I put two pieces next to each other. And then I build it up like a log cabin. That way there's airflow all around the wood. Actually, that one's a little big. Let me break that one in half. Nice when the wood grain goes right along with it, huh? See, now all I need is a small flame under this wood and all that air and everything mixing in together will be able to ignite really nicely. Then we can start building it up to bigger sticks, bigger sticks and bigger sticks until we have ourselves a very nice fire. Now what really helps is if you have a freaking torch. That's what I have here basically. Propane grill, turn on the gas, pop the igniter, everything should light on fire. Is that cheating? Would you say that's cheating? Now that that's started, just add all the wood right on top. And we might need to split a few more just to, because we don't want to put, you know, we don't want to start with kindling and then just put a huge piece on it. So you want to build it up slowly, slowly. I'm sure most of you already know. See now, everything's going to fall in between these pieces of wood here and it's going to form a nice bed of coals on the bottom. There we go, baby. And that's all there is to a fire when you have a torch. Maybe we'll get a nice bed of ashes, bed of coals right there. Now this crab is super clean already. Look how clean, healthy he is. But he's still got a little sand on him, so I'm just gonna rinse him off here. Look at that thing, heck yeah. That's gonna be tasty. Now if I wanted to, I could just throw this crab right on there. But I'll be a little bit humane, and right beneath this apron, right in that center, you can stab him like that, and he's dead, okay? Look, he got stuck trying to grab it. Trying to grab, trying to grab the knife. He got stuck because he died instantly, okay? See, he's gonna flop around. You know he's dead now. Just like that, instantly. Now I don't have to worry about him crawling off the fire when I throw him in. All right, fire's nice, just gonna throw him right on top. And there we go, just like that. I, you know, ideally you'd want this just to be coals. So you don't want that flame over it or it's just gonna burn it really fast. Let me flip him right now. Ideally you want coals, you know, coals and embers and that's what you wanna cook on. Just about 10 minutes and that crab should be ready to eat. Now I'm gonna pull the other crabs and maybe I got another one. Well, I'm gonna do these pulls and that's it. See what I got here. Nothing on this one. Well, I guess salmon's the winner today, but not on that pull. Nothing on the bacon. I guess I just got lucky with one crab. Really working against the clock here. And last one with the squid. Nope. All right, let's check our crab. Mmm, smells good. Smells like crab, y'all. Well, a little bit rushed, but hey, I think it's done. Looks perfectly roasted to me. Oh yeah, that'll do. That looks good. Cook it in its own juices and everything. Let's eat. Well, what originally started out as a comparison between squid, salmon, and bacon has turned into a roasted crab catch and cook. All done, all cooked up. I just hope he's cooked all the way. Let's take off this carapace and check it out. Ooh. All right. Man, a lot of people like this crab butter. See all that in there? That's all the juices from the crab, you know? Like, there's no water, it's not steamed or anything. People love this stuff, and I am not a big fan, but just because other people like it, I, I gotta try it too. Eh, I could see how that would be good in some stock or something really salty. Not bad. 
not too bad, not bitter or anything, but let me dump out the juice part. And now they also say that this brain part on the side is good. I've tried it once and I never really liked it. That's how it looks. I'll try that. <laughs> no, thank you. That's a little bit like, like uni kind of bitter. With the apron, a lot of the guts come right out. Now you know it's funny to me that a lot of people don't know how to eat crab. So you could break it apart, break it in half, shake out the guts, I'm not eating that. Now what you want to do to get to this middle section, because there's a lot of meat in here, you hold as close to the middle as you can, and then you rip off a knuckle. If you rip off a knuckle, you'll be able to get all the meat out in one piece. Oh man, I don't know if that's cooked all the way. Dang. Oh, let me try it. Look, looks like it, it's almost there. Thought I had it on there long enough. This part is cooked. Anything wrong with eating raw crab? Has anybody ever said anything about that? All right, well, how about the legs? So you should be able to break off this bottom portion of the leg, crack it with your teeth. Nice and brittle after it's been roasted. And let's see if the meat has cooked. Looks like it did. You should be able to pull out one chunk of meat. Just like that. And it's almost there. It's almost there. Much different flavor compared to just uh, just steaming it or boiling it. Man, but for me, honestly, if I were to cook crab, I like it with salt water. Like boiled in salt water, you just get all that extra salty flavor. If you can't boil it, steaming it is really good too. It also helps a lot if you have some butter. Look how brittle this is. Normally, this part of the claw would be hard to break, but boom, I can do it with my, my fingers. It comes right apart. Now, if you take this knuckle part off, that's the only part that's holding the meat together. So if that's off, then you can break the whole shell and boom, you got one big piece of meat right there. Not enough evidence showing that roasted crab is better than steamed crab. Sorry for chewing with my mouth open. I just got to go. It's almost sunset and yeah, time's a wasting. One more thing, I just want to thank everybody who supported me on this channel. Like people international from Singapore, from Korea, from Africa, from Australia, from England, from everywhere, buying merch, having it shipped over there. Like, I, I don't think I realize how many people around the world watch these videos, which is just still mind blowing to me. And for all the people in California, Washington, West Coast, Texas, Florida, man, everywhere, Minnesota, everybody, y'all. It means a lot. I mean, I don't know. I don't know else, how else to say. It's just it's still crazy to me. Just a normal guy eating crab on the beach. <laughs> All right. I got a little cabin trip to do. I'm eating up JP. We're going to do some fishing from shore tomorrow. So hopefully make a video on that. Peace.